you focus on the breath, you're trying to tune the mind into a, a really good energy. Because otherwise it tunes into who knows what. Just as there are lots of different radio waves and signals from TV stations going through the air right now. There are lots of messages out there in the world, and there are lots of different worlds you can get involved in. And it's a question of which world you're going to tune into. Find yourself especially sensitive or easily swayed by certain things that are unskillful. You've got to learn how to tune that out and tune into something better. Because there are good messages out there as well. We've got the Dharma, as, a, as a John Mahabhu and all the other Johns say, it's proclaiming itself all the time. It's simply a question of learning how to tune in. When that monk from Bangkok asked to John Munn, here you are out in the forest, where do you hear the Dharma? And then John Munn said, I hear the Dharma all the time, 24 hours a day. And that meant he could tune in to the Dharma messages that were all around him. So. When you go out in the world, you have to be very careful where you're tuning into. There are lots of messages of greed and lust and aversion and delusion being broadcast all the time. But there's also the message of the Dharma. So where are you going to tune in your radio? That's your choice. When you tune into something good, okay, then that sustains you. If you tune into the wrong channels, they can drain your energy away. It's like that cartoon of the TV that comes up and latches onto your head and sucks out your eyeballs and sucks out your brains. There are those messages out there, too. So you have to be very careful where you're going to tune in, what you're going to tune out. Just because the signal is very loud doesn't mean it's worth listening to or that it's important or that you have to believe it. It just means it's loud. You have to ask yourself where is the most useful place to tune in and make sure that you stay tuned in there. The tuning into the breath helps because it grounds you, reminds you of the big issue in life. Is well, here's some unfinished business here. The suffering that the mind is causing itself, and it starts even with simply being ignorant of the breath. So tune in here, and you're in a much better position to tune into the right channels around you.